What is up my friends, Tim DeSaint here. Today we're going over 30 summer outfit ideas for you to look stylish and put together without sweating your ass off. When it comes to making an outfit, I always like to choose one piece that I really wanna wear that day and build my outfit around it. So we're gonna do just that. You know me and my love for white tees, but in summer, I like to make it a little more flowy, give it some room and dare to breathe. You can never go wrong with an oversized t-shirt. Pair it with some black trousers and black sneakers for a sharp but lightweight summer look. For something a little more casual, swap the smart trousers for some cargos and you've got yourself a completely different vibe. It's casual, you look cool, not trying too hard. It's an easy look to hang out with the boys. But what if it's too hot to wear pants? In come the shorts. Go for a pair of relaxed cotton shorts along with a graphic tee and a baseball cap for more of a streetwear look. Perfect for a casual stroll around town on a hot summer day. But if you want something a tad more dressed up, ditch the baseball cap and tuck your oversized tee in a pair of straight fit jeans, then finish off the look with loafers. The loafers along with a tucked in shirt are the key elements here that will take your outfit from casual lazy to casual chic. Slim tees still put in the work, yes they do. As much as I love my oversized tees, you can never go wrong with a classic slim fit. This is pretty much the smarter version of the previous outfit. Slimmer usually looks smarter, as do darker colors, especially when it comes to denim washes. When it comes to plain tees, I try to stay on the more affordable side. There's some items I don't mind splurging on, but plain t-shirts are not. This t-shirt is only 5 pounds from Uniqlo and it's still my go-to for slim fit tees. The thing about summer is that since you don't really have much to play around with in terms of layers, you have to be more intentional with your silhouettes. And one thing I love doing is going all black. And yes, I do like wearing black even in summer and then playing around with the fit of each item. Here for example, I'm pairing a slim tee with wide trousers and chunky boots. The contrast between the top and bottom half is really strong, but the fact that it's all monochromatic makes it flow seamlessly in my opinion. There is much more to jeans than your classic black or blue wash, and summer is a great time to try out those different variants. Don't get me wrong, I'm all for a classic straight leg mid blue wash, it's timeless and should be a staple in your wardrobe, but sometimes you just need to add a little spice to your rotation. For example, with some off-white jeans. I absolutely love this pair from Drôle de Monsieur. It's pleated and it features an aggressive taper from the knee down. Paired with this cropped three-quarter sleeve shirt, some sneakers and a baseball cap, this is hands down one of my favorite summer fits. Or opt for some cropped jeans and a relaxed hoodie for when it gets a little more chilly. If you're on the shorter side, don't hesitate to bring your jeans to the tailor to get them cropped at the right length. If you're feeling a little funky, try experimenting with a pattern. This can be disastrous if done wrong, but if you find the right pair, it can make a great statement piece. For example, these lazy oaf checkered trousers look great when you tone down the rest of the outfit, keeping it simple with a white tee and white sneakers. Or pay homage to the 90s with some extra wide jeans. In order to not completely drown the silhouette though, when going for jeans this wide, I like to contrast it with a slimmer top half to really show the intention behind the silhouette. It's definitely not for everyone, but if you want to step out of your comfort zone, this could be one way to experiment. It wouldn't be a summer video if we didn't have a section on shorts. And when it comes to shorts, we don't discriminate over here. We like them long, short, textured, colorful. We at the Descent headquarters believe that all shorts deserve some love. You can go long and relaxed in all black for a casual but elevated street vibe. Generally, longer shorts will tend to look more formal than shorter ones, but I would say this particular one is an exception. Just because of the material and design of it, it still looks quite casual. Shorter shorts will instantly give off more of a beach vibe, so I would go more flowy pieces all around. Have that holiday in the sun aesthetic. I don't often wear pink, but whenever I do, I always fall back in love with the color. Shorts can also be incorporated in a smarter look. Think long pleated shorts, a tucked in Cuban collar shirt, and some loafers in a neutral color palette. It's chic, smart, yet still summery. 
Or you could go for textured shorts. This cold buxom pair of merino wool shorts had me perplexed at first, because you wouldn't necessarily think of combining a summer garment with a winter fabric, but I actually love how they look, and they are by far the most comfortable pair of shorts I own. Lastly, don't be afraid to add in a pop of color. I recently picked up these brick red faux leather shorts from Nanushka, and they're hands down my favorite pair. As with any statement color, I'm always a fan of keeping the rest of the look neutral for it to really stand out. Unfortunately, you can't always get away with shorts and a graphic tee. Sometimes you need to smarten up a little bit. And formal wear is one area where you don't necessarily have to go all in. Sometimes you can just dip your toe in it. Try wearing one to two items in your outfit that are more formal and keep the rest of your outfit casual. Here, the loafers are carrying that whole outfit, which would give off a totally different vibe if I was wearing sneakers. One easy hack to look more formal instantly, regardless of the pieces you're wearing, is to wear the color black. I would easily wear something like this out to an upscale dinner, even though each piece isn't that formal on its own, the all black combo just gives it that touch of elegance. With that said, you could also go for the opposite, a monochromatic look in cream and off-white tones. This color palette still gives an outfit a chic vibe, but unlike all black, it has more of a daytime feel to it. You could wear something like this out to brunch for example, but then swap for the all black look in the evening. Let your ankles out my friends. Some people like it, some don't, but no one can argue that out of every season, summer is the only one where you can pull off the no-show socks look. Emphasis on the last point, do make sure you're still wearing no-show socks with shoes, don't go barefoot. Loafers are an obvious choice for this look, but you can also go for its more casual cousin, sandals. The key to sandals, in my opinion, especially if going sockless, is to embrace the inherent holiday vibe they give off and keep your outfit nice and casual probably relax and fit as well. I'm a big fan of earth tones in warm weather. They just make me feel like I'm on vacation somewhere far away and I love that feeling. Sneakers are also a go-to for no-shows. Paired with light colored denim, a breezy top and a baseball cap, you've got yourself a summer ready outfit for a day in the city. And if you want to get more experimental, you can find all kinds of statement loafer type shoes like these JW Anderson loafer mules that I recently picked up. This is definitely not for the faint of heart, but I love a good statement shoe to stand out in a simple outfit. Any fashion enthusiast would say their favorite season is fall or spring for the simple fact that you can layer, but don't automatically assume you can't wear any layers at all in summer. It's all about choosing the right fabrics. This green blazer-like jacket from Korean brand Merely Made is actually incredibly lightweight. It almost feels like you're not wearing anything. So I can easily pair it with a tank top underneath to make for a cool two-layer outfit that won't have me dripping in sweat. Tank tops really are the MVP of layering in summer. It's such an easy base layer you can wear underneath shirts and other lightweight jackets. I love the look of an oversized button-down shirt over a tank top, for example. And plus, it's not always blazing hot, especially if you live in a city like London. It can sometimes get chilly around sunset and in the evening in which case a lightweight jacket is a very welcome addition to your outfit. Two is probably the maximum number of layers you'll ever see me wearing around this time of the year though. To cap or not to cap? That is the question. If you haven't noticed by now, baseball caps are my favorite style of hats, especially for summer, but I wouldn't necessarily wear one with every outfit. I would say that overall, there's three broad styles of outfits I would think of wearing caps with. The first is sporty outfits. Shorts, sneakers, garments, and more techwear-like fabrics, the baseball cap seamlessly integrates with and enhances these types of outfits. The basic put on and walk out the door in two minutes type of summer outfit for me is an oversized tee, shorts, sneakers, and a cap. The second is casual outfits that don't include shorts. Think relaxed jeans and a polo shirt. I feel like the right cap here adds that accent piece you need for the outfit to look complete and intentional. Lastly, I would wear caps to dress down an otherwise more formal outfit. This has to be done tastefully though. 
you still want your other pieces to lean towards the more casual side of formal. Don't be that guy in a three-piece tailored suit and a baseball cap. Here for example, I think it works well because even though I have a shirt on, it has more of a relaxed fit and the pants are quite loose, giving the overall outfit a smart yet chilled aesthetic. And when in doubt, remember, less is more. You can never go wrong with a plain, simple white tee, some chinos, and a simple pair of sneakers. Style your hair the way you like it, and you're good to go. Hope you enjoyed this video guys, I hope you've gotten a few cool outfit ideas that you can play around with, some inspiration for your wardrobe, and as always, everything will be linked in the description if it's available. I wish you all a beautiful day, and I'll see you in the next one.